The Wolf and the Seven Young Goats Fairy Tale Stories for Kids. Today we have a book named The Wolf and the Seven Young Goats Fairy Tale Stories for Kids. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. The Wolf and the Seven Young Goats is a classic fairy tale from the Grimm Brothers. Let's dive into a short retelling that stays true to the original. Once upon a time in a cozy little cottage on the edge of a lush green forest, a mother goat lived with her seven young kids. One morning, as the sun painted the sky with golden hues, Mother Goat had to venture into the woods to find food. Now, my dears, she said with a loving nudge, I must go to the forest. Be wary of the wolf. He may disguise himself, but you will know him by his gruff voice and black paws. We'll be careful, Mother, the kids chimed in unison, their voices light as the breeze. No sooner had their mother left than there was a knock at the door. Open up, dear children, a voice cooed. It's your mother, and I've brought something for each of you. But the kids were not fooled. You're not our mother. She has a soft, sweet voice. Your voice is gruff. You're the wolf, they cried from behind the locked door. The wolf slunk away his plan foiled. He swallowed a lump of chalk to soften his voice and return. Open up, dear children, he sang, voice as smooth as honey. Your mother is back. This time the kids peeked out and saw white paw. Fooled by his disguise, they opened the door. But alas, it was only flour on the wolf's paws and any charge. The little goats scattered, hiding wherever they could, in the cupboard, under the bed, and even in the clock case. The wolf, with his big bad eyes and growling belly, found them one by one, except for the youngest who hid in the grandfather clock. Upon her return, Mother Goat was met with silence. A single bleat from the clock case told her the grim tale. She wept for her lost children but her youngest told her what had happened. With courage and speed, mother and child went looking for the wolf. They found him fast asleep under a tree, snoring away, a telltale goat-shaped bulge in his belly. Quick, my child, fetch me some scissors, needle, and thread, mother goat whispered. She cut the beast's belly, and one by one, out popped the kids, safe and sound. They filled the wolf's belly with stones, and Mother Goat sewed him up without him moving an inch. When the wolf awoke, thirsty from the weight in his belly, he stumbled to a well and fell in with a splash, weighed down by the stone. The family watched, and when they were sure he'd not come back, they danced around the well, singing, The wolf is gone! The wolf is gone! And from that day on, the little goats played freely, and they never forgot the lesson they learned. Be cautious and clever, and always listen to your mother's advice. The End Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.